So next, our topic is about mycoplasma. Let's see some of the interesting thing about mycoplasma. This organism was being first discovered by Kosher. So while studying the causative agent of bovine pleuropneumonia. in cattle. So he could not isolate them in pure culture on standard nutrient media. And again, in the year 1898, two French scientists, they are E. Nocard and Raux. While studying the plural fluids of cattle, suffering from pleuropneumonia and discovered the organisms which are known as mycoplasmas. So, and were developed and were, they got designated the name as PPLO, which we otherwise call it as pleuropneumonia like organisms, pleuropneumonia like organisms. So Novak, so Novak put these organisms in the year 1929 under the genus called mycoplasma. And these organisms now commonly called as molecules because of its soft skin. Because they don't have any cell wall. And next the scientist J. L. Fall in 1937 isolated these organisms by special type of filters that even that could not separate bacterial filters. So they could not be separated by bacterial filters. So these organisms are all also called as cell wall less prokaryotes, jokers of microbiology, Phytoplasma, oxaloplasma, betsonia, jokers of plant kingdom. Coatless bacteria, Glaxoplasma, Spiroplasma. So these are the names we use for mycoplasmas. Actually, these are ultra microscopic. Unicellular cell wall less organism. So the outermost covering is known as plasma membrane, which is trilayered, made up of lipoproteins. So plasma membrane is the outermost thing. A cytoplasm, double membrane bounded cell organelles, all are absent. Double membrane bounded cell organelles are absent. The cytoplasm, the ribosomes are 
70 years. Are found in a glandular form. Proteins occur in soluble forms. So you can see the structure will be like this. So it has uh, three layers. And we have the granules. And we have the DNA. These are the granules. We have soluble RNA. So we have the ribosomes. In middle of the cells, it has incipient nucleus or nucleoid. So the nucleus of this type is devoid of nuclear membrane and nucleolus. We have double-stranded DNA. So we have DSDNA, double stranded DNA. And while single stranded RNA. And uh, we have 15% of it is protoplasm. And mycoplasms are non motile, they don't move. And they are unicellular, small uh, microscopic prokaryotic. The diameter will be 0 0.1 micrometers to 0 0.3 micrometers. Mycoplasm may be the simplest form of life capable of independent growth, reproduction, as well as metabolism. So it only does growth. It only does the growth, reproduction, as well as metabolism. So cell wall less and exhibit poly pleomorphism. It's different shapes. So that's why we call it as jokers of plant kingdom. Osmotrophic mode of nutrition will be seen. Osmotrophic mode of nutrition. And they require sterols for their growth in culture media because their cell is unable to synthesize the sterols such as uh, cholesterol, and ergesterol. E. coli plasma do not require any uh, sterol for their growth, but growth of mycoplasma will occur in solid culture medium, such as agar plate, agar agar, which is extract we get from red algae. So if you see that culture medium, it looks like a fried egg. So they are resistant to penicillium, penicillin, ampicillin, and cephaloridin, and vancomycin. And they are sensitive to Streptomycin, tetracycline, 
and chloramphenicol. and erythromycin. They act on metabolic activities. They are gram negative. Most of the species of microorganisms are aerobes or facultative anaerobes. Because they cannot serve, they can survive without oxygen. So without uh, oxygen, they can survive. Species of mycoplasma are saprophyte or facultative parasite. So coming to the reproduction part. So reproduction, it is uh, binary fission. Which is most common method of reproduction, mycoplasma, which is binary fission. Fragmentation in filamentous forms. And by elementary bodies. And symptoms of plant diseases are, it causes diseases for both plants as well as animals. So in animals, it causes mycoplasma hominis, which causes sterility. This mycoplasma will attack the germinal epithelium of seminiferous tubule of testis. And mycoplasma mycoides, which is uh, causes bovine pleuropneumonia. Bovine PPLO, which is pleuropneumonia like organisms. And for plants, it is little leaf of brinjol. and bunchy top of papaya so these are some of the diseases so let's see the other thing that is actinomycetes this also will come under kingdom monera these we call it as filamentous bacteria or ray fungi. They are branched and filamentous bacteria. They are concerned with intermediate form between bacteria and fungi. So they are between bacteria and fungi. The body of fungi is known as mycelium. And the actinomycetes is also similar to mycelium. So they are, uh, therefore they are included in fungi. But fungi are eukaryotic, but actinomycetes is prokaryotic. So they are now placed in kingdom Monera. So these bacteria will be having economical importance for making antibiotics. And each conidium gives rise to again new bacteria. So the asexual reproduction will be conidia. For angiospores, and oidea, these are the asexual reproduction.
and the examples are streptomyces mycobacterium bagiota frankia nocardia corini bacterium usually this uh, frankia this can fix the nitrogen symbiotically for root in root nodules in non legumes like uh, alnus myrica and cashew rhina cashew cashew rhina in these plants in the root nodules uh, it has it can fix the atmospheric nitrogen so this are uh, all about the actinomycetes and mycoplasma Thank you.